What's up guys? So today we have some breaking news or breaking rumors. Let's take a quick look. Um, NASCAR supposedly getting out of agreement with motorsports. NASCAR looking to leave motorsport games. NASCAR's latest video game was so bad that it's looking for a new developer. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And these are the things I've been telling you guys was going to happen. I don't think any of you are really surprised. Everybody's pretty much on the same boat, most people. Uh, this isn't going to end well for motorsport games. Um, before I look into this stuff, I do want to say... I do believe motorsport games will still release the game, uh, the next NASCAR game. Because they've been working on it for a long time already. And I think that... If the ship is sinking, you might as well go down in a blaze of glory. You're already working on this product. And I'm not sure that NASCAR can actually stop them from releasing it. I'm more concerned with the exclusivity side of things. I and I'm, I, I wouldn't even mind if motorsport games hung around just to make life more challenging for a potential future developer. I think competition is the biggest issue. The lack of it. And these exclusivity deals are the real problem. It's not so much that... Because, you know, you're going to have the same issue with every developer. We've had these issues already. Going all the way back to Utechnics and even EA. The last couple of years of EA was not good. I know a lot of people think that, you know, they look at EA and everything was great. They had their golden era and then it went downhill. So, I'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's get to the real stuff here. Okay, so let's see. There's, let's look at Sports Gamers Online. Because they, they have been one of the people that have been covering things since Motorsport Games. So, NASCAR lo looking to leave Motorsport Games. Trying to find a new home for its video game license. Since its launch has been widely panned for being a game that shouldn't have been released when it was. Thank you. The game launched in such a broken state with countless bugs and numerous missing features that many felt were basic inclusions. Stage racing, anyone. Mirrors. And so on and so on. We can go on all day. Now, with the game still not in what many view as an acceptable state and things looking rough financially for motorsport games, this is why it's important okay, to pay attention to the financial side of things. Now, I get it. Not everybody's going to talk about that. Not everybody's going to look into it. But it is important. A lot of times you can get an idea of what's going on behind the scenes. Which is important. Because what happens behind the scenes affects the final product. So when people tell you that I don't, pay, I, you know, I don't care about that. I don't pay attention to that. I don't fault them for not caring. But I'm telling you that everything is connected. So because things are looking rough, that's what's causing all of this. NASCAR wouldn't even be thinking about this right now if the stock didn't tank to where it was. That, that collapse of the stock is what has everybody looking into it, digging into stuff. We wouldn't even know about DK's history if it wasn't for all this. This is what causes people to, to start asking questions. This is why I tell people, don't get all your news from one source and don't be afraid to question people. I don't care how much you may support them or like them. You could still support somebody and disagree with them. I don't like some of the stuff I've been seeing where people are like, um, I want to cancel somebody or I'm done with this person because I don't like what they said. If you feel that they're being deceptive and lying to you on purpose, okay, you have to decide for yourself who's worthy of your support but if it's just something where somebody says something that you don't like or you disagree with challenge them but you don't have to cancel people you don't have to stop supporting them I don't like that I don't support doing stuff like that I can I think that you got to make that decision for yourself that if you really feel like some what somebody's doing is that egregious that you feel like I can't support this person in, anymore and I'm done with them? That's fair. But if it's just something where, you know, uh, I don't agree with this that you just said, challenge them, challenge them on it. Now, if, if 
you feel like you're being dismissed, if you feel like uh, the, the way that this person is reacting to your criticism is uh, something that you can't tolerate or support, by all means, you know, walk away. But I don't, I do think that just automatically canceling people because you don't like what they said, that's something I, I don't support. And I think you can still disagree with somebody and still support their content, support them. You know, it really depends, right? You have to be, you have to really uh, judge what's worthy of your support. So that's all I wanted to say about that. But this is why it's important to know what's going on. This is why NASCAR is, is actually, well, the rumors are that NASCAR wants to pull out or at least pull out from the exclusivity of, of the deal. It wasn't because of the public backlash. Well, you know, we've been complaining about NASCAR games since Eutechnics. And NASCAR didn't bat an eyelash. It's this. It's all this stuff about possibly uh, being scammed. Or at least this company coming across as us. See, that's what crosses the line. You can make a piece of shit. You can make product games that people hate. Don't, you know, just think are bad products and it doesn't really move the needle it's this when that stock tanks almost to a dollar a share from where it started that's what gets these people uh thinking that's why these things are important and this is why i emphasize to people all the time as consumers we have to hold each other accountable. It's one thing to just talk about the developers and, and you know, criticize, and that's important. And 85%, I think, of what I do is focused on the developers. It's focused on NASCAR. But I also focus on the consumers. And I don't really see anybody else doing that. And that's why I felt like I want to use this tiny platform... And hopefully encourage others with bigger platforms to do that. Because to me, that's more important. If we if we don't show these companies that we are willing to withhold our money, nothing's going to change. Where is the incentive? If you're still going to buy, go just go spend some time in the, in the Madden community with, with the EA folks. If you think it's bad here, this is nothing. They've been getting year after year after year after year of garbage, overhyped uh, Madden games. They complain that it's, it's, I mean, everybody knows in the gaming community how bad it is there. And yet nothing hap no, nothing changes. You know why nothing changes? Because people still go out and buy the game. They'll complain about it, but they'll still go, run out, buy the game. EA is still running to the bank. They're still monetizing. They, 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 anything that's that's that they can monetize that and get away with, they're gonna do it. They're one of the greediest game developers in the business. So people really need to slow their roll with this whole. I hope EA takes over. The day, the golden days of EA with the with the Thunder series, that was a lifetime ago. This is not the same company. Those people that were responsible for those games don't even work at EA anymore. This is what I'm trying to get through to people. I don't fixate on a, on a developer. I want to see, in a perfect world, multiple developers get involved. This is where the exclusivity comes in. That's the biggest issue with me. And if the NFL pulled the exclusivity away from EA... Then Take Two can get involved. All these other companies can get involved, and the competition would result in better games. In fact, EA would have no choice but to step their game up. They don't have to do that because they they're the exclusive uh, holders of the license. They can shit in a box, sell it to you. You can complain. They'll still collect their money, and there's no incentive for them to do better. So this is why I focus on the community. This is why I focus on consumers because at the end of the day, who has the, the most power? We do. And, I, and I'm trying to remind people of that. If you simply stopped 
giving these people your money, they would have no choice but to step up, invest more, do better, deliver products we actually want and ask for. They don't listen to us because they don't have to. If you're still going to buy the shit in the box, why should they invest more? And that's my message. And this is why I want other YouTubers and other people in the social media space, the influencers, we need to stand together. We need to have a unified message. We don't have to agree on everything. I'm not telling people, take all my ideas and, and you have to 100% back them. If you don't like some of my ideas, fine. Tell me why those ideas suck. Come up with a better one. But the ideas you do agree with, things I've talked about, like presentation, like a narrative to a career mode, like what you see in NBA 2K, in MLB The Show, in Formula One, where you actually feel like you are a part of this world. Um... Having having a crew chief that's an and an, an helps you come up with setups for your car and actually you have a relationship with throughout your career mode. To me, that would be something that elevates a career mode and makes you feel really invested. Having that sense of accomplishment. These are all the things I've been talking about for years. And if you like those ideas, if you agree with them, and you're an influencer. First of all, you're mostly I'm mostly talking to people that are way above me. Um, I'm at the bottom. So if you have a bigger platform and you agree with me on this, take those ideas and run with it. And and put them on your platform. That's how things get done. So that's what I try to do. And when I talk about consumers and how important it is that we remain unified and when we when I tell you, don't buy a game for, for two weeks when it comes out. Wait, see what it's like from other people in the community. Don't just hand over your money on day one. Do not pre-order. And when this game was coming out, I saw a few of these influencers telling people, I don't want to tell people what to do. It's their money. That's a cop-out. And that pisses me off because it's like, if I know that it's a bad idea to do that, I'm going to tell you it's a bad idea. If you want to argue with me and tell me why I'm wrong about that, go right ahead. Prove me wrong. Tell me why that's wrong. But to me, it's stupid. When you see year after year of disappointing games, why wait two weeks. If you waited X amount of time, you can wait another two weeks. And for God's sake, pre-ordering is a thing that does not need to exist. There's no reason you should ever hand over your money for a product that isn't out yet. The only people that are benefiting from that are the game developers. And we've allowed them to cultivate this business model because we are the ones feeding into it. If we don't support that business model, the business model goes away. I warned people many years ago about DLC. Oh, I had people telling me, oh, it's just $3 for a paint scheme. It's just $5. It's just, what's the big deal? Everything matters because you give them an inch, they, they want a foot. You give them a foot, they want a yard. It never ends. That's why when you saw in the early days of DLC, it looked harmless. And look where we are today. And it's not enough. Now they NFTs, Ultimate Team, uh, it never ends. They're just going to constantly find ways to use these games as a portal to monetize for garbage. And the, and who's to blame for that? We are. That's my point. We can blame the developer all we want, but if we're willing to give them our money blindly, it's never going to end. It's just going to get worse. This is what I tell people. This is why the people in the Madden community, if they simply unified, boycotted, said, do not buy this next Madden game for two weeks. Let's wait and see what people we trust in the community have to say about it. Don't pre-order. Don't fucking buy the game. Wait two weeks. Have some impulse control. 
That's all it takes. And I promise you, you're going to see some changes in the gaming industry like you wouldn't believe. But you have to be willing to wait. And that's all I've asked for. And I tell people, wait two weeks. Don't pre-order. Let's stop this. In its tracks. If these developers actually make a product worth buying, then guess what? They'll get their money two weeks later. That's not going to end the company. That's not going to destroy anything. And it's not our business. It's not our responsibility to make sure that these companies are afloat. You only see this in the gaming industry. You don't see this anywhere else. If somebody makes a piece of shit car, nobody buys it. And guess what? They fail and they go away. That's the way capitalism is supposed to work. But a lot of people have this idiotic idea of capitalism. Don't realize that what these companies are doing is monopolizing everything. That's what Motorsport Games does. They're not the only one. They're buying out all these developers. Getting rid of competition. Putting everyone under their own umbrella. So that they can all shit in a box and sell it to you every year. And you don't have anywhere else to go. So you feel obligated to support it. Don't. That's what I'm going to say about that. So, multiple S sources have told Sport Gamers Online that NASCAR is actively looking to wait for ways to get out of its current agreement. Sources say NASCAR would like to bring its license to a different publisher and developer within the next couple of years. NASCAR isn't happy. There's a reason they don't even promote their own game on any broadcast. It's because they don't want to be associated with a game as broken as NASCAR 21 is. And this is why it's important, okay, that we as a community stick together as consumers. And we have to have a unified message. We have to have a unified way of doing things. If everyone simply agreed, stop pre-ordering games, stop buying on day one, make them prove that this product is worth our, our money, this fucking business, this whole industry would change in a heartbeat. The reason the industry is going where it's been going for many years is because of us, the consumers. That's why I focus on that stuff. A problem with NASCAR's plan, while NASCAR may want to get out of the agreement, it's not going to be that easy. It's not a case of one side just deciding to cancel and move on. NASCAR is going to have to and has been working on building up a case to present to warrant an early termination. I don't think that's going to be difficult. I really don't. While motorsport games... In fact, before I move forward, there is a uh, Austin Agonowski just dropped another video uh, detailing a lot of the the uh, the lawsuits going on. It's a four minute video. It, go in, check it out, and I'm telling you, this isn't going to be hard for NASCAR to prove anything. Now, if I was NASCAR, what I would do is I would just focus on exclusivity. Like I would say, look, we're not going to get tell you to stop making the game but the exclusivity is out we're gonna let other people come in and also make games and we're gonna let the, the best man win competition wise I'm not sure NASCAR is gonna do that but that's what I would hope so alright while motorsport games will simply point to the existing agreement that expires late in the decade and use Reasoning such as the transi transition to a brand new game engine for the problems. NASCAR itself will have to present more than that. Yeah, they're going to be like, oh, it's just the first game. The same shit that we as a community have been supporting. And to this day, people are still saying that. Oh, it's just the first game. We, gotta, we have to support them. No matter how many times you get spit on, you're going to keep supporting it. For them, they'll look at the fan response to the game, the finances of motorsport games, and the questionable future of the pub publicly traded company. This is all in favor of NASCAR. I don't see how... <laughs> this is... You can get a scrub lawyer who just got out of uh, law school, and he should be able to make a case. The fan response, the finances, everything is against motorsport games here. They don't have a leg to stand on. Since October 2021, about the time when reviews first started to get copies, shares for motorsport games have plummeted. Even though I've had people tell me, I don't know what I'm talking about, 
I had somebody tell me that, oh, this whole thing going on between Ukraine and Russia, and that's, it's just people of fucking lemmings, and also people that have invested money in these companies. On October 20, they were trading at 15.59 as a closing. Shares were just trading at a dollar twenty, a drop of ninety-two percent. And some people don't see this as a as a problem. Some people will tell you, "Well, it's not that big a deal. I don't see anything here. Nothing to see." In the company's recent fourth quarter earnings call, it was revealed that despite all of the licenses currently held, such as NASCAR, IndyCar, and more, Motorsport Games continues to lose money. In 2021 alone, the company reported a total loss of thirty-three million dollars. After taking into account a few sources of income, such as stock-based revenue, the number improved a bit, but the company still posted a loss of $17.4 million. For the fourth quarter alone, the time window, blah, 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 net losses were at $7 million. All right, look, long story short, it's hemorrhaging money like nobody's business. Very few companies have ever imploded this quickly with this much cash while without being a, a, a scam. Uh, while our 2021 Forum 10K indicates a doubt about our ability to continue is a growing concern, we're currently evaluating new sources of funding. Yeah. DK. DK says they're they're evaluating new sources of funding. I don't know who they they have to. They're looking for lemmings, suckers that are going to buy DK's nice guy routine and part with their money. That this is gonna get it was it was probably easy for him in the beginning, like in all his other ventures, right? It's it's gonna be hard to do that now. CFO John New threw gasoline on the fire when he stated there would be no forward guidance provided on the call. <laughs> we do not believe that our existing cash on hand will be sufficient. So the CFO already contradicted. DK's uh, Mr. Nice Guy here already threw gasoline on the fire. Already contradicted what he said. What about NASCAR 22? Current situation ongoing. Sources close to the situation insist that development of is continuing. Well, yeah, I do think we're going to see this game at some point. They've already invested every whatever into it and they've been working on this well before the release of the first game they're not just going to chuck it you know it's there they they they're going to release it you might as well go down with a blaze of glory the current plan is to release late in summer and that is what the development team is working towards until the team is told there's no more game they're working under the impression things will continue as normal Hmm. I should have put... Well, let, let me not go there. This just reminds me of that uh, Titanic video that I put up. Under the... Imp continue working. Like those guys uh, playing instruments on the Titanic while it's sinking. That's what... That's the thought that came to my mind. Another added. If it ends, it might take enough time that there should still be one more NASCAR game on the motorsport game. That's what I just said. Right? This is going to take time. And there... They're not that far from releasing the next game. They've already put X amount of time and, and resources into it. They're not going to chuck it. It's going to come out. I'm pretty sure. Sports Gamers Online has reached out to both NASCAR Motorsports Games for official comment on this report. So far, neither party has returned those requests. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm glad if if this, it's going to happen but at some point, but it needs to happen. This also means we're not going to get, besides NASCAR 22, it's going to be a while before we get another video game from a company, whoever it is. But after all we've been through, through the years, what else is new? This has to happen at some point. Jalopnik. Let's look at this real quick. I know this video is always is going long, long, long. Sorry. Look how impressive this was. Man. 
When NASCAR 21 released last year, it was immediately apparent something wasn't right with it. Yeah, this was NASCAR's first video game developed by Scratch, upstart publisher that's gone on a tear in recent years to snap up a bevy of exclusive licenses. Yeah, that's what they do. They buy out the competition. All right. All right, you guys can check out this article. Um, I'm just looking for something new. All right. Um, NASCAR isn't happy. There's a reason they don't even promote their own game. All right, yeah. I'm not... I, I, this video's been long enough, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you agree or disagree with? Um... I mean, I've been telling you guys this is the inevitable conclusion. Um, no matter what happens, if and when this next game comes out, do not pre-order. Do not buy the game on day one. No matter, and, and anybody that tells you, I'm not going to tell you whether you should or shouldn't buy this game. It's your money. Run away from that, from those people as fast as you can. Because they don't have your best interests at heart. I'm not telling people don't ever buy the game. I'm just asking, wait two weeks. Do not pre-order. There's no reason to pre-order. Don't enable these people. We are the ones enabling them. We have to stop that. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. When there's something new to talk about, I'll talk about it then. I look forward to your comments. Later.